Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough with the first five stages now cleared. We can continue on our 100%ing trek back to the levels of sixes. Um, what am I missing? Oh, there, that one, that one. Okay. This one was because I missed a chest in the chicken segments. So I'll see you back over there. So yeah, the thing that I'm looking for is in this area and I need that guy to do it. So come on, Stangler. Follow me! In fact, it will always follow me. So I don't even have to tell it that. Okay, right here. Right here. Because we need to get up there. But we need a little bit more height off of our chickadee jump. And you can't even get up there with uh, Starfy alone, so... That's why you need the assistance of the Stangler. And... Come on, Lift Wisp. Let's go before the Stangler comes back. Alright, we're safe. We made it. To the door with the last treasure chest. Yeah! Ruby's Diary! It is... Tonight I went to the top of Sky Die Heights and made a wish while staring at the stars filled, filled sky. I wish I could meet someone who was strong, reliable, kind, handsome, stylish, sensitive, rich, polite, and funny. That's not too much to ask for, is it? Nah, you don't have high standards or anything. Anyway, <laughs> no, no, wait, I didn't mean to do... No. Didn't want to suspend save, you know what that does. I want to go back to the map, because stage six is now cleared, 100%. So is stage seven. So is stage eight. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Everything's cleared out. It's so awesome. I'm so pleased. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we can start the Starly stages now. Uh, will it show the cutscene again when I go to stage nine? I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's see here. Remember I said that we might be playing as Starly later? Well... Back into off top. While Starfy and his companions trekked across the world, well, actually, I didn't say might, I said we would be, Starly had some excitement of her own. Don't be cute. Hand over the brats. Because this time we brought friends. A whole lot. Huh? Mm, where's the little squirt who thinks he's tough? What? He's not here. This is our chance. Go wild, boys! Tear this place up! Find that kid! And so they did. Kind of. Until... Someone intervenes. You're the creep faces who made a mess of Puff Top. You're gonna pay, punks. This pink bowl's gonna haunt your bad dreams. Bad guys better get out of Puff Top if you know what's good for you. Where'd this little sass ball come from? You must be right related to that other star kid. Yeah, that reminds me. If we don't find that guy soon, the Master Tooth is gonna do something unpleasant to us. Yeah, I know, Ronk. Do you guys hear me? I said get out of here! Ha! You're pretty, you're pretty cute when you're getting mad. Kinda like a blushing lobster. That's it, they're all boys. And they're gone. Wait, did the stage start? I didn't want I just wanted to show the cutscene, not the stage. <laughs> well, I ran those guys off, but I still don't know what happened to Starfy. Yeah, bet those jokers know where he is. Better go after them. I can't do some so I can do some stuff my brother can't do. So check out the ability screen if you need to. And watch out for the legendary Starly. Alright, so um it didn't exactly show the cutscene, so I might edit the other part segment in before what you've seen there. Um, just for the sake of, you know, being able to show everything. If you don't get this, this takes place, on um, stage 9 right here, this takes place when, um, like during the story, like not, like not during anything after Mash Tooth's defeat, because we already made friends with wrong peeps and snips, obviously. So this is what happened when uh, Starly was on her own adventure. Anyway, as you can see, her uh, Star Spin isn't quite as powerful as Starfy's is, but it still works sufficiently enough. She's also got this move, if you hold down, she can crawl like that. If you press Y, you can slide across the ground really quickly. 
and uh, slide into things. And this is how you get into sections like this in the starly only segments in parts of the regular levels. But as you've seen already, you don't need her to 100% the game in the slightest. By the way, she also does not have a double jump and the star that you see her um, like transition between screens is pink. So that's pretty much her differences overall. Uh, she's also got a wall kick, uh, I should say a wall jump, which I'm going to do when I have the opportunity to do. Uh, actually, can I do it here? Yeah, I could do it right there. You just got to um, sort of like push against the wall and then snap off, snap off the wall. It's Yeah, you gotta push against the wall and jump like that and then press the direction that you're going to jump away from, like, just snap from one side to the other, it's it's something that you gotta practice for sure. Especially since, you know, she's the only one that has a wall jump in this game, so it's gonna be new to you unless you uh, uh, played as Starly already, like in a Link Up or whatnot. Anyway... But if you're like me, you probably didn't, <laughs> because you wanted to do the game with the, the full challenge in mind. By the way, I've been... I've noticed that I've been killing off stuff without actually telling the names of stuff and stuff and stuff. That was an Astro Bagger. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll go through them as I go. <laughs> this is not the hardest segment, I assure you. Just one little... One little stair drop, uh, stair jumps of one block each. Anyway, that's why they're astro baggers. They shoot out stars from their bags. Anyway, and as you can see, there are um, the flunkies here because again, this takes place um, before Mash Tooths. Mom, before Mash Tooth was defeated. Oh shoot, I spelled myself out on the ground. Yeah, that can happen too. I need to run, jump to get up there. There we go. Alright, just time yourself. Well, there we go. Not that difficult when you actually pay attention to your timing. <laughs> Alright, let's look down here first because there is a something something here. Mm. 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 If you go around here, you're gonna find something interesting. Um, it's kind of funny that Moa's here, uh, because, you know, she didn't really join Moa at this point here. I should say Moa wasn't with them at this point, but... Uh, Lady Starly! Oh, Lady Starly! What is it? I'm kind of busy right now, if you hadn't noticed. You may know me as an elite soldier of Pufta, but I also tell excellent stories. If you ever want to hear one, just let me know. So, let's hear a story. You... you want to hear one of my stories? Really? Super Elite Story number one, our Soldier Story number one. These are uh, optional, but they're fun to find uh, because you know it just gives you backstory on what's going on around here. This was an adventure that happened many, many years ago. One day in the land of Puff Top, a slightly scatterbrained young prince dropped a jar into the sea. But there is no, but this was no, no normal jar, for inside it was sealed away an evil monster. Yeah, right. How can an evil monster fit in a jar? Lady Starly, would you like to hear the story or not? Yeah, who's stopping you? A terrible storm rolled across the sky, and it violently churned the seas as well as the clouds. The prince was swept away by the storm and tossed headlong into the sea to fend for himself. Tossed into the sea, huh? If that happened to me, I wouldn't be worried. I'm a great swimmer. Honestly, Lady Starly, you should keep the interruptions to a minimum. <clears throat> Shall I go on? Nah, let me guess. It's courage me, the prince, the legend of Puff Top, right? All right, right. And that's how the story ends. <laughs> um. Oh, ooh, really slowing down here. Uh, okay, he's just gonna repeat himself. Oh god, oh god. Can I skip this? Okay, start button skips it. <laughs> good, very good. All right, so yeah, there's stories like that scattered around the Starly stages, and I do think they that they are worth uh, seeking out. So. That was number one, obviously. Uh, no, 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 those one square jumps that get me. Mm. Alright, now that I cleared all this, I was gonna do a double jump there by instinct, 
but I have no double jump. I can only glide. Though it's, though it's perfectly sufficient for her stages because she doesn't need any more than what she has to complete these short stages. And there's a little different sound effect that happens when you complete the stage. Now you see there's no treasure chests to be found here. So, uh, yeah, you can pretty much just blaze through these stages as you please, but since you would probably want to seek seek out those stories... Yeah, let's let's seek out those stories. <laughs> uh, wait, can I... No, I can't break these. I thought that would be fun to break them. Uh, but you can break some other ones that you'll find a little bit later on. There's some uh, statues of uh, the three most famous X baddies of the game and that's where you have to learn said wall kick from if you don't know how to do the wall kick just look at the ability screen it'll demonstrate it for you i should say if you don't know how to do any of starly's moves go to the ability screen um yeah like, perhaps they could explain it better than i explained it in the first level i used her in maybe could be might be but yeah push against the wall like i'm holding right now i'm holding left and then just hit the jump button when you're pushing in against the wall like that Okay. Okay. It's pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. But you have to know how it's done, otherwise you can't really get the hang of it. <laughs> and nope, oh, nope, oh, didn't quite make it. Caught the edge of it. Um, where is land? <laughs> well there's land, but I don't wanna go there yet. I wanna go down this way to see if I'm missing something. Sky Swabbies. Um, oh, right up, right over here is something special. Um, oh, 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 oh. That was a blink fin. Now, over here, if you go inside... Oh, wait, this isn't what I'm... Well, uh, she has a Starly. One of these levels, I forgot what, what it is. Uh, she has a mini boss. Hello there. Oh, so gross. You okay? Come on, shake it off. What happened? You must have been swept away with the current. Oh, I'm still pretty dizzy. What a doof. You must be the senior general of Puff Top Doofus Brigade. You, you don't have to be so mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. But pull yourself together. Sheesh. Thank you. I'll try to do better. I promise. <laughs> Let me make it up to you. I have a story from long ago, from before you were even before born, Starly. If you ever want to hear it, please give me the pleasure of telling it to you. All right. Got, come on, there we go. <laughs> I wasn't close enough, I guess. So you want to hear my story, Lady Starly? Oh, that's great. I shall begin at once. Puff Top Legend number two. A long, long time ago, there was a bumbling, careless prince of Puff Top. And I mean, oh, <clears throat> and a mean old man who had been sealed away in a jar, sounds familiar, for decades. However, the evil man escaped from the jar and kidnapped the prince's mother. What? The baddie kidnapped the queen? That's terrible. What happened next? The prince set out with his friends to save the queen, of course. Eventually they, hmm, you know, I think this tale is really about the importance of connections between people. Connections between people? Oh, I really miss my brother all of a sudden. He's really great. Oh, I even miss his friend, Mo, too. Hmm, actually, that's not true. I just miss Starfy. <laughs> anyway, this is a um, Pearl segment of sorts. Obviously, because I don't have the powered up star spin Starfy has. I don't have the control in these currents that he would have. Awkward. <laughs> Very awkward. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get all these pearls here. This is kinda kinda tedious in all honesty. I'm gonna get a couple big ones at the bottom, I guess, that I popped out, and that'll be it. Okay. Oh, okay. And moving on. Ah, blink fin, no. <laughs> um, what's over here? Is this the way back around? Yeah, this is for if you want to go back to look for stuff, I suppose. And then it leads back. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I think it'd be faster if I just like landed around here. Yeah. Because so I don't have to glide my way down there. Uh -huh. So no chest to find. That kind of reminds me. Um, what does she have to say? Hey, Starly. Like, um, old man Lobber there is basically the status screen. Like, 
Yeah, I mean, you, I could leave that up and you could see the, the stats go up as I'm going, but, uh... Like, how do they determine distance anyway? Like, look at that. Three... Four... Five... Like, what do they mean by distance? Is it like... Ten steps? Fifteen steps? I don't know. Maybe they have some sort of way to determine that, but yeah, it counts star spins, enemies defeated, all sorts of stuff here. Time I've played, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying here. But anyway, back to the mermaid. Uh, oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no. Hey, Starly. Ah, there, thank goodness you're here. Are you okay? More okay than the two of you, it looks like. Did those doofuses hurt you guys? All right, nobody plays rough and puffed off on my watch. Sit tight and I'll take out this trash. Oh, thank you, Starly. I knew we could count on you. Uh, what else do you have to say? Lately, I've been hearing this voice. It just comes out of nowhere saying, Conk! Conk? Where have I heard that before? Not sure. I get the feeling something, someone's waiting for me to follow that voice. Hmm. How about you, Down Soldier? Oh, oh ouch. I hope Prince Starfy won't be disappointed in us. Um, nah, I doubt it. Starfy doesn't seem disappointed in anyone. <laughs> anyway, moving on. With the groove on, through another wall jump segment. I think that over there is for... It's like, it's like a side path of sorts. Um, to get per... Oh, no, 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 no. To get pearls from the left side. Like, you go from here. And you start here. And you go around. Just keep mashing the Y button, like, rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get through it as long as you keep mashing that Y button. <laughs> and there we go. So yeah, that's just four pearls there, which is nice and all. But... Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Got to keep going to... No! To the top. Remember to hold against the wall when you're before making the jump. And there we go. There's the end of the stage. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I will most likely clear out the remainder of Starly stages in Stage 9.